All right, hello everyone. This is a quick video on how to do a 3D modeling of your PCB. I have a circuit opened up in a project here. So all you have to do is start a new project and make any circuit that you are that you want to work with. Create the netlist and then open it up in your PCB editor. Okay, so I have a circuit here with just a test point, resistor, capacitor, and um, a header. And the 3D version of it looks like this. All right, so how do we make it look better than that? All right, so I just go to 3D Content Central and I download step files of the 3D models that I need. You need to create an account. You can uh, create an account for free and download various content. A lot of people have done great work on this website, so um, 3D Content Central is a great resource. To get things that you need all right so i already have a folder with my step files in it and you want to make sure that the all the extensions are dot step this is the last uh, part that i'm going to download for the capacitor so when you go to download a part and you find it you type in your search field here and look for a component we have a picture five millimeters for this um, capacitor and the format will be in step or dot step Make sure you just choose the file that says step, nothing else. All right, version AP214 is the correct version. And I'll just click download. Almost all of these files will be zipped already, so you have to unzip them and then name them differently as needed. All right, so new 3D is my project folder's name, and step is the name of the folder for my step files. So now I'll show this file in the folder, extract all, and then cut this file and place it back into the step folder. All right, there we go. Delete this folder and delete the other folder. And I'm going to rename this a um, cap196 for builds. Uh, that's the same as five millimeter. All right. Now we'll close these windows and go open up the PCB Orchid PCB Designer Lite. And what I'll do is go to a setup, and we're going to do the step package mapping. All right. So want to make sure that our step packages are pointing to the correct path. So, ah, all right, to set that up then, go to setup, user preferences, and then paths, and then within the library there, click on the library folder, the option that says step path, click on the ellipses, and let's add a folder for the project. All right, new 3D, oh wow, okay, it's already pointing at my project folder, that's really cool. So under New 3D and Step, click OK, and then click OK again, click Apply, then OK. Hopefully this updates while I'm in the um, software. So let's take a look. Step package mapping. And what did I name it? Header underscore one, two. It looks like it did. All right. So let's go with uh, Jumper 2. It is a two connection device. And I will choose uh, header underscore one, two. All right, so let's look at the part here. I scroll up to zoom in and scroll down to zoom out. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to use my right mouse button to move the board around. And I don't like the front left view. Let's go with the front view. See how far we far away we are from the um, uh, from off point here. And I'm zoom in a bit. Bring this up with the right mouse button and then move it to the right with the right mouse button again. All right. I like to set the, mm, the, uh, I like the overlay. All right. So our package is a bit off from the, what the dimensions are, what the uh, PCB 3D dimension block is expecting. So I'm going to move this header over to the right some. And to do that, I will choose the X and then move to the right. 
The degree at which you move to the right is dependent upon these uh, increments and in mils. I'll just keep it at one mil. Now, the pitch for what is expecting for the header or connector uh, for the part is different from what this header actually is, but this is the basic idea. Okay. Let's see. Front left view. How does that look? Okay. Back right view. You know, it's not bad. You know, it's not bad. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, that's the front view and then the right view. Oh, okay. Don't know what happened there. All right. It's a left view. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. All right. So that looks good. We'll click save. And then the next part is the resistor. The resistor is supposed to be a uh, 400 mil pitch. So let's go with the resistor we have here. If I can find it, what's it named? Go back to the step folder and oh, th underscore resistor. All right. Here we go. Click on that. All right. So now this resistor is <laughs> off by 90 degrees in the z-axis. So let's highlight this and hit 90, hit enter, and then it gets lined up in that way. Let's see. Now this needs to get moved over quite a bit so looking at it from the right all right we're going to move this over the x direction by let's say two mils increment ah, okay that's two let's go with 10 mils oh yeah that's a lot faster all right so now we want the these pins to line up with the holes. I'm going to move this up in the Y direction. All right, that looks a lot better. And front left, this is how the resistor looks. So it's not bad, not bad at all. Let's look at what the front looks like. Okay, and then the right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's click save. Now we've matched the we've mapped the uh, 3D package to jumper two resistor 400 and jumper one jumper one i use jumper one for the footprint name but it's actually a test point so they're not going to have the same hole size but this is just to show you the idea test point underscore red is the uh, file name so let's look for that test point underscore red good let's look at the front left view and yeah it's right on there it's good let's check the front Zoom in with the left mouse button. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, let's save that. And I kept 196. Let's see. All right, kept 196 is for like a capacitor I just downloaded. So that is named, oh yeah, kept 196. So just scroll up. Let's see if I can find it. Kept 196. There we go. Oh, right. So looking at it from the front left, we've got a, hmm, I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me. I'm not sure if the holes are actually, let's see. Ah, okay. So the capacitor is off by 90 degrees from where it should be. So that would be in the Z axis. So 90 degrees. All right. And then if we actually use these arrow keys to move the part along in certain increments Let's see here and line this up seems like everything is the inverse of where I want to go all right Let's reduce that um, step size a bit Okay, so the holes aren't exactly aligned because it's a different pitch, um, but that's okay. This is just, again, to show you how, in general, this would work. So it's in the center of what the package would look like. Now that everything is done, click Close, and when you hit the 3D button, your mapping is good for your packages. And this is how you do your PCB in 3D. All right. That's it. Uh, happy designing and
wish you all the best in your designing efforts. Uh, I had to do this package mapping for a lot of my um, designs. Something like, okay, L the light version cannot save uh, with so many components or open a package with a lot of components, so I switched to the paid version. This is my buck converter with the 3D step package mapping. So you can do a lot with the step package mapping. And a lot of these parts I generated using uh, a handy tool that I will show you in a, another video sometime. I'm not sure when I'll upload it, but that is 3D modeling in PCB Editor in ORCAD. Thanks for watching.